Hello everyone, my name is Nichols and here I am right now to unbox this 1 to 12 scale Darna action figure manufactured by Halima Sculptures, licensed by ABS CBN and distributed by LH Collectibles. This is the very first 1 to 12 scale action figure of a Filipino superhero made by Filipinos. So I'm very happy to be part of this history, this historical mi milestone. The side is beautiful, the side of the box. We got this very, very cool and very sexy art of Darna. At the back, we have a very high resolution photo of the figure. Halimau, once again, ABS-CBN. The back of the box also features a teaser on who the next character in the lineup will be. And hmm, I wonder who that is. And now we have some information about Darna. As a lot of you know, her alter, her real identity is Narda. She takes the stone to transform into this lovely... The figure features 24 points of articulation, very excited to see that. And here are her superpowers. Apparently she has super speed and superhuman agility, aren't those the same thing though? <laughs> but okay, that's, that's good to know. On the top of the box we have this really nice logo, this text logo, Darna. Apparently, apparently they only made 1,500 pieces of this, so it's a very limited production. And for the first 500 orders of the figure, they each come with this special edition trading card. You have very nice art, once again. Very nicely cut Darna. And uh, like more about her backstory. Just pause the video if you want to read. Overall, I think this is a very, very beautiful box. It has a premium matte finish. It has a nice sticker, ABS-CBN. And has this beautiful art of Darna. I think it's, this is world-class quality. And I'm very amazed. Thank you, Halima Sculptures, for this production. Now, before we crack this thing open, I would like to show a comparison with boxes from other figure lines. So as you can see, this is a comparison of the box with Figma, Marvel Legends, and SH Figure Arts. Yeah. And this is how they look like from the side. Uh, as you can see, it, it, it's quite a common thing, I guess, for, for uh, action figure boxes to have side art of the characters. <laughs> so, now that that's out of the way, let's open her up. Now that she's out of the box, let's take our initial looks on it. And yeah, the paint is very good. And now, up close, without the plastic jacket, you can see she looks so much better. Wow, that's beautiful. There's a little bit of shading on this figure and that adds to how premium this thing is. It's amazing. The gold is also very well done. And her uh her hair has a bit of of like a 
cell shading. As you can see, it has blue streaks over the black base. I think that's amazing. I was not expecting that. Let's take a good look on the figure again. And now for size comparisons, here's Darna next to figures from other lines, yeah, female figures from other lines. Darkness from Konosuba, Valkyrie from Avengers Endgame, Marvel Legends Valkyrie from Avengers Endgame, and SH Figuarts Rescue also from Avengers Endgame. And as you can see, she does scale well with, with Marvel Legends and... I guess she also scales kind of well with Rescue, but Rescue is one of the taller SH figure arts, so I guess she can only scale with the taller SH figure arts. Comparing to Figma, the difference is quite significant, but I guess she can still look okay next to a Figma. And now this is Darna next to, uh, yeah, I added SH figure arts Android 21 here to show you how she looks with the shorter SH figure arts. Uh, I know I realize SH Figure Arts tends to make their anime and Japanese their Asian characters shorter than the American characters, and I guess that makes sense. Uh, Darna is quite tall compared to uh, anime figures. And for the final size comparison, here is Darna next to male figures. Now here we have Captain America, Marvel Legends Captain America and SH Figure Arts Spider-Man from PS4 Spider-Man. As you can see, well, again, uh, she does scale well, very well with Marvel Legends. Not so much with the shorter SH Figure Arts figures, and I'd say the Spider-Man is one of the shorter SH Figure Arts, so yeah. Now for the articulation, let's start with the head. Uh, the head seems to be a single joint, so she will wiggle and rotate, but that's about it, actually. Like, no chicken head movement, but I guess that's not too bad. The abdomen is on a ball joint, looks like, so she can wiggle like that. Wiggle and rotate. Yeah, every ball joint is a swivel, as Jobby would say. Yeah, arms will rotate, bicep swivel, spread out that far, uh, single jointed elbow, but it's okay, goes uh, 90 degrees, not bad. Uh, the hands will rotate, and the, it seems to be just a basic swivel joint, which is a little disappointing, but I guess it's not the worst thing in the world. No swivel on the waist, but at least you have the abdomen swivel, so I guess that's fine. And I just want to comment, I find it disturbing that her abdomen does not have a belly button, does not does not have a proper navel, a properly sculpt, sculpted navel, and I don't know, that's very important to me, honestly. The legs will go forwards, backwards. Can she spread? Yeah, that's not too bad. The loincloth is made of a soft material, so it can move around like that. The knee will bend. I'm, it's a very stiff joint. It's, it's actually quite scary. The knee is actually double jointed. Uh, it only goes uh, 90 degrees, but I guess that's not bad. But. But it's kind of weird because for the other leg, um, it doesn't fully bend. I think the other, the upper part of the joint is too stiff, so I might need to heat that up. Uh, yeah, this fig does have a little bit of quality control issues, but I'd say they're not a lot. They're not a lot. Uh, there's also like a like a black smudge here at the back of her head. It, it came that way. It's not that bad. So I'd say the quality control 
in general is still very very good yeah. I, I mean like for a first release it, it's still really good the foot will swivel it's a little bit of an angled angle pivot so it's not the best but it works it works it's a uh, I guess she can be you can make her do decent sp spread poses yeah like that okay, let's see if we can make her stand up with the ankle pivot yeah there it works I guess <laughs> oh and uh, I almost forgot the ankle will go backwards and forwards but the joint uh, when you get it out of the box it's very stiff so be careful after moving it uh for quite some time though it will it will loosen up a bit like uh, i mean not super loose but it won't be very stiff anymore so yeah just be patient before i forget there is a thigh swivel so overall for her articulation i think it's not great, but it's not bad. Like, uh, she can do basic poses. I wouldn't say that this is at the same level as a Marvel Legends, but it's almost there. And uh, there are parts where I think they could have done better easily, especially with the knees. Like, um, the knees are double jointed, but they only go 90 degrees. And, um, for those of you who own Figmas, Figmas use only single jointed knees, well, in most cases, I, be I believe, and um, they can still bend really far despite just using one joint because it's angled in such a way that it bends a lot. Let's take yeah. this for example. This is Figma Nico from Love Life. Uh, she only has, like her knees only use a single joint, but it can bend over 90 degrees a little bit over 90 degrees and um i i think uh halimao sculptures could have done something like that like if, if they angled the joint better they could have produced better movement it's just an exact 90 degree bend and they already had to use two joints for that so i i think they could have done better if you know they, they just angled it a little better and I don't think that's very hard to do, honestly. So, bottom line, I do think this is a good entry into what hopefully will be a wide range of Pinoy-made articulated figures. It's not perfect, but you can really see the effort they put into this. The sculpt is nice, it lacks a bit of realism, but it does capture Darna's shape quite well. It's sexy, but more of the cool, tough type. The paint job is very clean and I would have given it a perfect score if it weren't for the black smudge at the back of the head that I pointed out a while ago. The subtle shading and contouring give the figure heightened detail and a more premium feel to it. For the price, I guess it's understandable. The figure doesn't come with a lot, but the quality is up there. I just wish the future releases will be cheaper. This figure costs about the price of an SH Figuarts. And while I do get it was necessary because this is an initial limited production, I wish the prices will reduce a bit if Halima plans to go on with the line on a full mass production basis. For the upcoming Captain Barbel figure, I understand if they make it the same price as Darna or a little bit more expensive. He is a bigger character after all and he might actually come with a Barbel accessory. He better. I just hope the price wouldn't go up as much. To conclude, the Halimao Sculptures Darna figure is a very interesting piece for the collection of any Filipino toy enthusiast, and I'm very happy the company decided to make this toy. Definitely a good starting point for a potential continuous line. That's it for the video. Thanks for watching. Please do like and subscribe if you think I'm worthy, just as Darna was of that stone.